Hey everyone, this is Robot. <coughs> I was just informed by my bass player that I'm playing Jesse's Girl Wrong, and I read, <laughs> yeah, that, that old song. So I'm like, okay. So, and he's been telling me this. I'm like, whatever. Dude, I'm never wrong. Never wrong. No, but, um, <clears throat> I uh, listened to the song to make sure. So I'm like, man, I haven't paid attention to that song for years, I just play it, you know, one of those things. And I was doing something different um, that could be definitely perceived as incorrect, because it's not exact. I thought it was cool. But I'm going to do it the per perfect way. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to play the parts. Um, and his bass part was actually wrong, and that's what I think we were hearing, to be honest. And he didn't care for the... I was playing in a different voice than he thought. And there's a dude out here, a couple of them, giving lessons on how to play a song. They're doing it wrong. So I'm going to show you guys the right way. Not to be an ass to them or anything like that, but I just figured why not do it the right way, right? The way I think is correct. There's two guitars anyway and a little bit of keyboard. So I'm going to give you the part that I think sounds awesome, the way I do it, all right? The most prominent parts that I hear. All right, so essentially for the rhythm, you got... Now this part, the guitar goes, same part, alright, second guitar goes, alright, so at the same time, if I was to do that, I'd go, alright, so the first guitar, Second guitar. Just does that. But if you want to combine them. You can do them both together. Alright. And then. A to B minor, all right? Now, you could do it, the one dude showing, he's doing that type of thing. It's A, B minor. Power chords, full chords, whatever, down there on one guitar. Second guitar on the top of the keyboard is doing this voice here. Now, I used to play it holding the A down making it seem like a D major on the second chord, so it makes it sound like I'm going, which actually, if you hear the bass note with it, <coughs> it's going, so it's a B minor 7, all right, but instead of a B minor 7, we'll do a straight B minor to make Rick Springfield happy, okay, so, Alright, I can't play both parts and sing the fucking harmony at times, so whatever. So that's that part. Um, now, we got a discrepancy in the guitar solo. Everybody's doing this wrong. So I'm going to give you the, it, give you a quick, and it's easy to pick out the rest, so I'm going to give you the most important parts that everybody screws up. Alright, so, it starts off like this. Um, I'm sorry, so at first you got to F sharp, and then or this part. Everybody is like, sorry, they're all like, that's incorrect. It goes, oops. Try 
this once more. Jesus Christ. There you go. So you're doing sixth chords. And then I like to go. The little country blues thing at the end. So, alright, it's. So the top, top, uh, on the B string you're doing. Bottom string you're going. So. So together, slide up. So that solo part again. Right there. So you're going to use your middle finger and your ring finger. Oh, you can't see this because of the glare. Middle finger and the ring finger, and it's on the 19th fret, D string, and the B string. Then you go down a whole step to the 17th fret, same two strings and uh, fingers. Then you're going to go middle finger and index finger. Uh, middle finger's on the D string on the 16th fret, and on the 15th fret of the B string, you hit the index finger. And then you get a bar straight across with your index finger on the 14th fret. And then you hammer on and pull off with the, in, the ring, I'm sorry, the middle finger um, on the 15th, to back to the 14th fret of the B string. Then you just pull straight down to the 12th fret with the bar. So, so you have... So again... crazy go song goes aha uh -huh. it doesn't go it goes so
how you play the song. I started messing around for fun. I'll mess around for more for more fun. Here we go. Out there, that sucks. 